Hey everyone, this is Christine with Christine Creates and I'm in the middle of making a sugar skull so I decided to just come on and mm, continue to make it with you guys watching. And here we go. I'll finish this off and then I'll tell you exactly the tools that I use. I use these dotting tools. I don't use that much paint, but I have a heavy hand when I'm painting my um, my skulls. And I never put this many petals in the middle flower, but I decided to do that anyways. Kind of reminiscent of a wildflower, I guess. So before I get any closer, or to finish this, I just want to take a moment to let you know, let that dry for a minute, and let you know that I'm using acrylic paints. I have used this uh, orange one so far, of course the yellow. I've used um, neon pink for the other flower on the side, and I also used some lavender for the flower on the side and I'll show you that in just a second. Here we go. And I use these types of tools because they have the fat end on one side and a much thinner end on the other. some turquoise when I do my sugar skulls I like to go all crazy with the colors then just much like I did this one I'm gonna go ahead and just dot these ones Pick up some more paint. Oops. Pick up a little more paint. It's pretty dry in my craft room tonight, so the um, paint is drying super fast. Well, faster than normal, I should say. is done.
it. This should be done drying, but you can never really tell. So I just like to give it a, um, like to blow on it a little bit. Okay, so I think that's dried enough. It's a little tacky, but I guess that's okay. Let's move on to the next part. I was thinking of doing, well, I'm just gonna, well, I'm just gonna do it. And I'll show you what I'm doing next. No, I was going to do a little spider web, but I don't think this videos are getting already long enough. So I'm just going to do another quick flower on the other side because I want to show you how I finish it off all together. So I'm just going to do a quick flower on this side. Got to get those out of the way. I have all my paints right here because it's just so much easier to just pick one up and use it. Okay. Pick up some paint. Let's put the flower right here. It's going to be another half flower. Okay. Clean off your tool because you don't want that to pick to leave um, yellow paint in something else that you're grabbing another color. don't want to cross contaminate okay so what color flower do I want to put there what color so I did neon pink on the other side I think neon red is good for this other side so I'm gonna do this one And when you do your own, you can literally do whatever colors you want. You don't even have to do um, flowers. You can do uh, whatever you want. You, sugar skulls are supposed to be colorful. That's why I do. That's why I'm making mine with a bunch of flowers. Pick up some paint and then drop it, make a little circle, not very huge, and then drag the paint out. Pick up some paint, get a little circle going. Oops, sorry. And then drag it out. Pick up some paint. Do a little circle. Drag it out. And that one is showing up more of a, like a deep red in the camera when it's a neon, it's supposed to be a neon red. In person, it's a neon red, but in on the camera, it's more of a dark red. I can't help the color. But if you don't believe me, there it is. Neon red. Now that we have 
most of our flowers finished up. I need to figure out what colors I want to do the outside of that. And I think I'll do the metallic because I hadn't used this one yet. And I'm actually going to use the blue tool because it's got a smaller point to it. We're going to go ahead and flip it over like this to the flower we just did. And then we're just going to put some dots at the end of it. Pick up some paint. Put some dots. All right, so we're finished. Let me make that one just a little bit bigger. There we go. So we're finished with our flowers. Got to be very careful with putting that down because the other side of the flower, this side is pretty um, tacky still. And if I squish it, it'll look smush and it'll look funny. And so far it is almost, almost finished. Okay, so I want to do the eyes. But instead of doing all the way around like a traditional sugar skull, I'm just going to do the top part all the way down to the cheekbone. So once again, I will be doing just the brow bone, the brow bone all the way down to the cheek, cheekbone. I'm gonna do that for both sides, just the brow bone all the way down to the cheekbone. And I'm not going inside, I'm going more outside. So it's gonna be, ooh, I almost ruined that flower. Anyways, it's going to be dot, 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 dot. On the outside, not the inside, because I'll show you what I'm going to do for the inside. But so far, I'm happy with the way that it looks. That looks great. Like I said, you can do whatever you want. You can make these however you want. I just prefer them to look more of a skull. And I have a mold that I had made. And I just, I love this look. But like I said, this is just a small tutorial to show you what you can make and how you can do it. Like I said, I use these acrylic paints because they're, they're cheaper and they are they last a long time i've had this for i don't know how long and i still have a whole bunch in it and the same with my other paints i have a whole bunch of paints in it or a whole bunch of paint in it still and we're just basically we're just waiting for these to dry so i can go ahead well you know what i don't need these to dry i'm doing the eyes so what do i want to do for the eyes Hmm. We can do this color, neon pink for the eyes. We'll do neon pink for the eyes. And I like to do fun colors. I, I like to have fun with my crafts. I hate to take things too seriously because I have to take things too serious. I have to think take a lot of things seriously at work, at my nine to five job. Well, it's literally um, 
8 to 4.30, but still it's 8 hours a day that I have to take serious. And that job is a real downer. It really is. But um, here I like to just, this is my, my second job, believe it or not, making um, crafts. And selling them. Because it makes me happy to make something beautiful and then and then either sell it or give it to somebody who absolutely enjoy, is going to enjoy it. And believe it or not, I've traded these for other people's arts, for, for necklaces um, that I absolutely adored. Uh, and... I've also sold them. So it makes me happy to see that other people are going to enjoy them, either wear them, put them on the car, put them out, take them to work and just, um, sorry, I can't see this, and just display them at work. Whatever, the, whatever it is that they want to do with these is their their deal. And that is that. Sorry if I didn't get any of that on camera, but I'm really trying to, I'm really trying to get this on camera for you guys because I really want to show you what my, what I do and how long it takes me and, you know, it doesn't take me very long to do these, but when I'm having to do a whole bunch of them for a craft show or for a pop-up shop or for my actual shop, it takes a long time. It doesn't take 10 minutes to do these. It takes a long time for me to do these. Plus, I have to figure out the colors. You know, I have to figure out, okay, what colors do I want to do with what? And now I'm... I'm going to use some glitter and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to use the fat end of this white one. Pick up some paint. Now I'm going to go right into the socket and I'm just going to swirl it around. Pick up some paint, go into the socket, swirl it around. Get every part of it that you can possibly get without having to go outside of it. Pick up some more paint, do the same process on the other so socket. And that is that for the eyes. So I'm going to fix that for myself because I just, I want to try to make, you got to try to make them look symmetrical as much as possible. I don't know if it's the OCD inside of me or what, but I like to try to keep them symmetrical as possible. What's funny is I, I've never tried to get anything symmetrical in my life but as soon as I started doing my sugar skulls that's when the OCD kicks in and I have to make it as symmetrical as possible otherwise I'm not happy with it and it doesn't get sold and believe me I've, I have a lot of sugar skulls that are not in my shop because I'm not happy with them. And so I just, I keep them for myself. I keep them as a remembrance as to, I don't like this, so I'm not going to do it type of thing. Or I'm not going to sell it. I mean, and doesn't that look cute? It's not done yet. It's, I still have a lot to go. Um, now I'm going to use some green and you'll see what I do there. I'm sure you have an idea, but you'll see.
So we're going to use the smallest one here. If you have a toothpick, great. If you don't and you have one of these, great. Just pick up some paint. Oh, hang on. When you don't have very much paint at the bottom, do this. Tip it over. Ooh, sorry about that. Shake it a little bit. Get it good and mixed together because all of these paints should be mixed together, but I don't always mix them. And then just tap the top of it. And there should be some more paint in there, but it doesn't look like there's that much paint in there, and I wonder why, but anyways, moving on. So we're going to go ahead and pick up some paint. Going to go in here and make some little vines. Pick up some paint. If you can't pick it up very well, just swirl it around in there like that. It'll get it'll get picked up. See, look at. Yeah. Pick up some paint. Do some more little swirlies in whatever direction you want to do them. It doesn't really matter. And I'll probably do another one right here. Do another one right there. And then we'll do some here. And I don't realize that. Hang on one second. Okay. So we'll do one right here, going like this. And then I'll pick up some paint and we'll go ahead and do this side. Okay. Now we'll turn it around and do this side, this flower. Pick up some paint and just There we go. Pick up some paint and here we go. Okay. What I also like to do is what you can do and you don't have to, but go down the center. Do a couple of dots down the center. Do four dots, do three dots, do two dots, do whatever. And then close that up. Like I said, this you can do whatever you want with these can make them extravagant as you want, as extravagant as you want, or um, make them exactly like this. Now I'm going to use some black. You'll know what I'm using that for. Pick up some paint. Get in the nose. I'm going to turn the sugar skull around some so I can get the other side. And I'm so glad that you're able to see this on camera. Actually, I'm going to try to zoom in on that part. Okay. 
So I'm not done with the black yet. Let's pick up some paint. Pick up the sugar skull, lay it flat on your hand. Now it's time for the mouth. And I'm gonna zoom out for this part so you can actually see what I'm doing. Pick up some more paint. Now this part is completely optional, but if you want it to be kind of traditional, you can do this. And I like to start, generally, I like to start in the middle and then work my way out, work my way out that way. Because you see that one, that one has a huge paint, a huge bunch of paint in the middle of that. And the lines, the lines seem, seem a little more symmetrical when I use, when I start in the middle and go up or start in the middle and go down they seem just a little more symmetrical and I think I'm happy with that okay so I'm happy with that sugar skull Well, I didn't realize how long this video was. I really apologize, but we're all done here. And this is the end result of this sugar skull. If you feel like you wanna go ahead and design the outside or even the chin or underneath the uh, cheekbones you can totally do that yourself I think I like it I think I might design the other side the the bottoms um, I think I'll, I'll design the cheekbones and down here the chin at a later time because this video is already 30 minutes long and I just, I wanted to come on and give you a, a tutorial since I've been saying that I'm going to give you a tutorial and I never do. Um, but that's the side that's using this color right here, the neon, uh, neon pink for this flower on this side. Then I also used just orange on the top. Ooh. Sorry, I'm getting a lot of shadow uh, on the top. And then I used blue for the dots, which was just this regular uh, turquoise. Um, on this side, I used lavender, which was this color right here. Uh, for the eyes, I used the neon pink. And for this side, I used this amazing neon red along with the um, metallic blue sapphire for the dots on this side. And of course I used some green and some yellow and black and turquoise uh, sparkles for the eyes. Ow. Um, this is it. This is my sugar skull. I hope you enjoyed it. And give me a comment, give me a like, share this video as much as possible, and subscribe.
so I can make some more awesome videos for you. Hopefully not with my camera phone, but it seems to be just fine. It's not too much of a distraction, I hope. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day or night, wherever you are.